Hello and welcome to Formula One 2012. We're at the Yas. No, we're not at the Yas Marina circuit. We're definitely not at the Yas Marina circuit. We're at the Singapore Grand Prix night race. We're going to leave all our settings as they are, and we're going to just drive out. We're going to take the race. It's a short five-lap race, just a sort of preview and an introduction. Not had chance yet to set up my steering wheel, so playing with a keyboard in the classic old-school controls that. If anyone's played the old old games such as Grand Prix 4, Grand Prix 2, Grand Prix 3, those classics by Jeff Cram and Infogrames, uh, Infogames, yeah, uh, Microprose, awesome, awesome games. Um, so the classic A to accelerate, Z to brake, or Z even, uh, the colon and full stop keys to uh, are used to turn. And Q is for Qs, W is for DRS. We've got a pretty good start. Gotta make sure we don't hit anyone though. You don't want a penalty. And we just nudged someone there. It's only our teammate though, and we've not damaged him, it's alright. So the difficulty we're on is professional, of course, because I'm using the keyboard, I've got a couple of assists on, of the assists like breaking on because it's a nightmare having to try to feather the uh, brake on a keyboard. As you can see, you don't you don't have the same versatility as you do with the uh, button or controller or of course the brake pedal from steering wheel. There goes my teammate. Up the inside of Rosberg. Uh, past Massa as well. Yeah. I'm I'm going to be very aggressive in my drive style because I want to see. Uh, they've changed a little bit the way things like penalty systems and that look um, and also if you cut corners to gain a place you're going to get a little red warning come up telling you you've got about seven seconds maybe to hand back the position which is pretty cool uh, this is certainly an interesting it is certainly much better than last year where you were punished even if you accidentally do something you know you're forced to take the runoff on last year's you pretty much always got a penalty for illegal overtakes even if it was not really fault and there we go the wings a lot more fragile on this year's game I reckon compared to last year which is a good thing because they were a bit indestructible last year even though you can break them pretty easy full on but little bits of damage like that from tipping a barrier are about right because that's what you would get in real oh we've really messed up that corner Massa is right on our ass. If you look at the mini map, you'll be able to see that. And what it means is we lost a lot of ground on there. Uh, we were pretty close to them. Oh, I almost lost the back end there. And that's another thing that's changed this year. It's a lot easier. If you just take it too much of the curb or clip in the wall, it can be very easy to lose the rear of the car on this year's version of the game. I, I think it's another addition that I, I, I quite like personally. Others might not, because it does make the game more challenging and it, it's got, I think it's a slightly steeper learning curve as a result of that, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, this is, you know, these things, these cars aren't easy to drive and they shouldn't, just because it's a game doesn't necessarily mean they should be easy to drive. And uh, of course, as you can see, it looks beautiful. I think there's been, they've upgraded the gate graphics engine a little bit from last year's. Because uh, certainly the textures on the cars look uh, higher resolution than they were last year. One of my, one of my big issues with last year's game uh, was the resolutions and that they just look really, really poor. Um, on, especially on this camera angle, the TV pod one, because this is, well, personally, this is the main one I use. So I think this is the best angle that you've got for driving with. Uh, and it was a bit of a shame that the, resi uh, the textures were as poor as they were last year for the cars. Um, you know, when you think about it, they're the fundamental thing about the game. Yes, it's great to have these amazing looking circuits. And if you think Singapore looks good, uh, wait till you. Uh, this is, remember, this is only 720p maximum that I'm recording here. Uh, but it looks absolutely amazing and properly gorgeous in 1080p. There we go, got a warning for corner cutting. 
I've just been told in my ear that DRS is available should I get close enough. Which I'm not doing. I sort of just hold in position at the moment and not being able to close down the button. I guess because of that win. I was getting a bit close, but then on that last corner, I just cannot take it. More damage to the wing. So I think I may have to lift like three seconds behind actually, so maybe I wasn't close enough. That doesn't look like three seconds, so to me. So maybe I'm catching quite quickly and then losing time in that last sector. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully that's the case. Because it, re it really, that does not look like three seconds. I'm sorry. But of course, this is, it absolutely looks looks properly beautiful in 1080p. Um, there's less, uh, or certainly on the PC, there's no frame rate drop in split screen. Uh, which there was quite a significant amount of on last year's game. Yeah, I am close. I'm only a second behind. Crikey. Really, really close up this lap. I suppose it's been a pretty neat and tidy lap. So I'm saying that. Saying that, uh, you know, complimenting myself. Saying it'd be neat and tidy. Oh, bugger. There we go. I had to do it, didn't I? But we have the joy, of course. We can use the replay. Why I didn't use this earlier, I don't know. We'd I think we want to uh, rewind to say there, and we can go again. There we go. Now look at that, just notice that as well, the skid marks. You know, if he's getting a bit tail happy with his car, ooh, frame drop there, frame drop. Oh, we're going to have to... <laughs> that was disastrous, that frame rate drop just took me no took me out of the game completely. See it looks it looks just like the, it just looks like the car's twitching. Let's see if we can get a better camera. Yeah it looks it, it looks like the car twitches but it doesn't what's happened there is the frame frame rate stuttered. <laughs> uh, I'm not making excuses, that genuinely did happen. Uh, and that's cost us big time there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from here again. Because we're we're in strike almost within striking range, but yeah, we can keep with him around here. Then we'll be pretty pretty handy. Oh, we've got that corner. Good. Just get our curves boost. Keep within a second of him. That's the key. Hamilton set the fastest lap. Three tenths quicker than me. Oh, we should be close enough here. A bit of DRS when we get to the DRS section of the track. Oh, cranky buttons. Really pushing alright, we're gonna have to go back there. It's very as you can see it's very easy to just lose a little bit of wing. So easy. You wouldn't think it's so easy to do, but it really is. Right, let's go from here I'd say. There we go, we've got that much better. It is a very forgiving system. There we go, DRS. Problem is, Button's got it as well. Although we seem to be much better than in the break-in. Can we have a go into this corner? Oh dear, we can. <laughs> and we can get a penalty for it. Oh no. Do we have any more rewinds? We don't have any more rewinds. Uh, it's just a silly, silly error. <sighs> Dear me. Okay, we need to go back to the race. Escape. Uh, enter. So we've got a penalty for hitting button off, which is not ideal uh, by any stretch of the imagination. And we've really damaged our wing quite badly now. So that one, the last corner especially, is the only real high-speed, proper corner, proper high-speed corner around Singapore. We're really going to struggle with that one, big time, I think, which is, which is a bit annoying. It was a very risky uh, attempt to, to get past button, and it didn't come off, and we have been punished for it. Quite simply, I guess I caught button so quickly because they're getting held up. They're all getting held up by. Is Weber ahead of me, and I don't know who's ahead. There's a car in front of me. 
think there's four cars and the one right at the head of the queue is really slow in the rest of them which has allowed me to catch him so quickly on that last lap or so well the game thinks we need to pit I don't think we need to pit I think we're okay to keep going I mean there's only one lap left I've got a 10 second penalty I might as well stay out <laughs> Take the warning for corner cutting, that's alright. Oh, we spun it. Oh, it caused a bit of chaos there. We lost a buckload of clip positions. Oh, we're gonna go wide. As you can tell, I'm not bothering to lift on the corners. In reality, you lift in many of these situations. Um, because because otherwise you just you know in reality you could end up crashing out of the race some of the ways I've been taking some of these corners and you just these little glances on the wall it really does make a difference and can make you uh, it does make the back end very twitchy and the car very slippy and slidey which is a good thing it adds more chance you've got to be a much cleaner driver I think on this year's version of the game than on last year's it's more punishing in that respect. I might have said that already, but it's, 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 I think it's really important that it is. Um, I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, so, you know, I, I've done a couple of races against my little brother on a split screen. Well, we were disappointed that we couldn't use the, uh, we are disappointed that we couldn't use the sort of split season career that they had last year season that you could sort of set up it, you know it's still really you know it's still really good fun still as good as ever there's less frame rates stutters and drops uh, in the split screen which is both the split screen and online uh, you know they're, they're the most important and best parts there's no sort of hot seat mode I wish there was a hot seat mode like you used to get in uh, the Grand Prix for games uh, the Grand Prix games where you could sort of take three, be three drivers going through the season, but you know it's not ideal. Uh, but you know you're not going to get everything uh, that you want in the game. But I really like this. And while we didn't get any points, I hope you enjoyed our sort of little preview of Formula One 2012. Uh, and do by all means go out and buy it because it is, ter it is really really good game it's more polished than last year and I think it's gonna be better than last year and last year was great so yeah it's a great game go buy it and remember to like and subscribe the more likes and subscribes we get you know the more videos we're gonna be able to make and so on and so forth uh, thanks for watching uh, sayonara <laughs>